Namaskar, so you can see a question on the screen that has been asked in uh, 2012 of 3 marks. Okay, so this question contains the concept of Swartz lemma also. Yes, one of its options. So first of all, we will understand what is Swartz lemma. We will try to remember its statement and thereafter we will use it to solve the question. So let's go for that. Uh, first of all, let's go to uh, see what the Swartz lemma says. Okay, so you can easily see that F is analytic in the unit disk delta. Okay, unit disk means what? Yes, this one. All right, centered at 0, 0, radius 1, or uh, any disk of radius 1, it will be more general. Okay, F is analytic in the unit disk delta and mod f of z less than or equal to 1 okay yes bounded by 1 all right and f of 0 is equals to 0 so these are the conditions in the Schwarz lemma what are those f is analytic in the unit disk delta mod f of z is less than or equal to 1 and f of 0 is equals to 0 okay if these conditions are there then mod f of z less than or equal to mod z this one is and the derivative of this f at 0 i mean to say f dash 0 comma mod is also less than or equal to 1 this is the second condition so these two things are going to be satisfied but one question naturally comes in our mind that when this equality is going to be held and here is a very a strong condition if and only if okay so we must remember this map this equality is going to hold if your f of z is equals to e to the power iota theta into z okay so this is what Schwarz lemma says but how shall we apply this in the question let's go for that okay so what the question was f from d to d b holomorphic function with f of 0 is equals to 0 all right holomorphic means what it's analytic function with f of 0 is equals to 0 where d is open unit disk okay this is what open unit disk the condition that were required in Schwarz lemma okay you can see that open disk over here then they are saying that modulus of f dash 0 is equals to 1 I would like to say uh, if we will take this example f of z is equals to 1 by 2z then you can see f of d to d is it holomorphic you will say yes it's holomorphic in this disk no problem f of 0 is equals to 0 yes at z is equals to 0 you are going to see 0 as your output so these two conditions are going to be satisfied by these functions okay all right but if you will find it f dash z then what the thing you are going to get you are going to get half isn't it f dash z is equals to half so at any z in the disk f dash 0 will become what half and certainly its modulus is half its modulus is not one and that's why you will say i am sorry mr a all right thereafter for the option number b what the thing is there f of 1 by 2 less than or equal to 1 by 2 oh my god it's the it's the first case of this yes mod f of z less than or equal to mod z if your z lies in the open unit disk isn't it so you will say what 1 by 2 lies in the open unit disk because our open unit disk is this isn't it so this is your z is equals to 0 and 1 by half will lie somewhere inside it and for any point inside the open unit disk Schwarz lemma says mod f of z is less than or equal to mod z so yes for z is equals to half this is going to be satisfied and we will not hesitate to say welcome mr b so b is right isn't it now 
फोर दिस मॉड एफ ऑफ हाफ इज लेस देन इक्वल टू वन बाय फोर oh i have some doubt in this option and that's why we will take a beautiful f of z is equals to z so now f of z is equals to z it is holomorphic yes is it going to satisfy f of 0 is equals to 0 yes these two conditions are satisfied okay then if you have f of z is equals to z then what can you say is it is giving you f of 1 by 2 is equals to what 1 by 2 <laughs> okay but option c we are saying f of 1 by 2 will be less than or equal to 1 by 4 but f of 1 by 2 will give you 1 by 2 which is less not less than or equal to 1 by 4 so you will say sorry mr c and what about f dash 0 so if this is your f so you will take f dash z and then you are going to get to 1 so uh, from here you can say mod of f dash 0 is equals to 1 isn't it but option d is saying that it is less than or equal to half so you will say sorry mr d okay so as it was a three marks question so by just saying b is right we are done but as we are discussing all the concepts that's why i have i have discussed all the options i would like to say in the next class or next video i will come up with swartz pick lemma and some more results from this swartz lemma okay if you want to see uh, some videos on the topic you want then certainly you can, you may mention uh, that topic in the comment section i will certainly come with that video with video on that topic i would also like to say that you can check the playlist and certainly you will get many interesting and important thing for you okay so we'll meet in the next video till then take care bye bye